Whoa, I'm scratched up. Guys. Guys. I have to mute. I have to blur everything out. How's it going, YouTube? It's Sir Night J back for another video, and you can guess what it is. It is Witcher 3. Bruh. I'm so boosted. Nope. Again, guys, this is not for the faint of heart. Oh my gosh. They're all out tonight. The gods have heard Lance cry as people's long wait. Wait is over. King Redavid will save the North. Uh, remember, guys, we don't like Radovid. He's basically taking control of this place and just... I don't know. Oh, cool. <laughs> I, like, I like this song, though, for Witcher 3. So let's see what's going on here. Wow. I like him already. Of course. With your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? The local color. I wasn't gone more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into their So they know each other. Now what? All right. Time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? <laughs> That's funny. Whoa, it's a 4v1? What? Got him. They get wrecked. Cool. Really? Something worrying you. I'm looking for Siri. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd read. But what she be doing? Hiding, probably. She might be in. See her in your dreams? A couple times. Mm. Her and the pole. Not good. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dan. We have a wee problem then. What? What's wrong with Dandelion? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Witcher 3 music. Best music almost in all games. Almost. Let's look around. I find something else. Okay. Okay. Now we gotta look for Dandelion to look for Siri. This will be fun. Ten barrels of two cent dry. No, 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 no. That's exactly what we're looking for. How so? Dandelion and planning. Good. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past. Give him a chance. <laughs> Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So. Ah, here it is. Hmm. Zoltan, please. You really want to track down the women Dandelion's been wooing? Most likely all angry women by now. Got any better <laughs> ideas? Besides, Dandelion. 
So Dandelion's a player. Figure that's unnatural because wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Meet you up. Need to do a wee bit of tidying before I go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bits before you scurry. <laughs> need anything at the next door. Alrighty. We did the lines planner. Okay. Where's it at? Okay. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to uh, contact that. Oh, we hit level 10. Just checking to see the in the place. Actually, glad you're still here. I wanted to ask you about someone. A baron. Dandelion. Yeah. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. Doubt I want to hear them. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling them Christians. Referring to herself. Huh. Truly perv. She did a good half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's a fool figure of a compliment. But she pulls a bit more range into her cupboard. <laughs> Spula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's up. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumption. That's up. Threw a flower pot. Yes, so flames never die. Okay. <laughs> Dang. So Dandelion's a player. I think these are all the girls that he was with. Suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs, what rose of our atre deems her to hear. Well chosen, eh? Her dad's an old guardian aristocrat of the Imperial Legation. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we Rosa prefer swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common sword master? Well, then, one it seems. Weak on weak, word has it, her dad is now looking to hire her next. Aliha. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep. Well, well, seems f uh, not without reason. There aren't much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. They are safe, Francesca. F you want to take this one then? Nah, you can have it. So I gotta talk to each of these girls. I see, uh, elven duties like a young book. Whereas I prefer vodka, straight up. <laughs> well, you know about all I want. All right. Well, let's start speaking to all the women, I guess. So we gotta first speak to Vespula. So why do we have to talk to them again? Let me see. Um. So it's just girls and a planner that he had, and we gotta find him. You are in for stupid rage. What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Grey, and not your concern. The Spula's got someone else's protection. Yep. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So. Let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. Okay. Ooh. They actually hurt. Uh, uh, uh. Dodge him. 
Ooh, he has a bow. We gotta get him. Not a problem. Got him. Easy. Told you. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. I don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out through the balcony. When was this? He's the reason I'm here. You know where he is? Probably out whoring. Lion scoundrel. <laughs> what do we do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Took the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. This woman he was with in the Claims she was his niece from Covia. Ha! Horvia, more likely. Of course, it's so tight, her eyes are popping out her head. He's too come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter if they're one in the same. Jeez. She's pissed. Of course, it's so tight, her eyes are gonna bulge. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him. He's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Ah, so she still loves him. That's funny. Why do you I don't think we've seen an elf yet, have we? Oh, they look the same. She just drunk. <laughs> you a refugee from um, in here? Welcome, welcome. Do I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Howe. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Eliel? Yes. Now pick your jaws off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Eliel was. Wow, Dandelion is just. Oh, so it's that. Wait here. I mean, you know, do you. Ugh. Looks good. Looks real good. How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. And then, <laughs> let's get into detail. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Okay. Thanks for your help. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest. Does he actually sell stuff? Come to look at <laughs> he just looks kind of silly. Uh, show me what you got. I hope you got a dress in stock. I really need those right now. Um, elegant mask for a masquerade ball. Uh, it says it shows an exclamation mark on it. Should we buy one just to save it for later? Hmm. Yeah, let's get the ma that one. I mean, they're cheap. We can just buy them all. Um, I'll sell that. It's medium, I prefer light.
18 plus, dang. Steel. Sixty five through seventy nine. Steel. Ooh, this one's good. They're all steel weapons. Okay. Well, let's equip that one. So we're just learning a lot of things as we go, you know. I supposed to say, if that's his cup of tea, that's his cup of tea. Hey, I'm not hating. It just shocked me. I was surprised. I don't care. It's the way it goes. Let's turn a right here and then talk to Mirabella. This dandelion guy, I tell ya. Um, whoa, she's floating. Jump! Whoa, he has hops. A random quest, we're good though. So let's speak to Mirabella. Ooh, some of these kids are kind of weird looking. I'm looking for Mirabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. Can't wait. Sorry, can't wait. Hear about Dandelion. I'm Geralt, and I'm Geralt. I know you. Fine. If you're eager to join in the lesson, you're welcome to. Children. Sadly, the rat catcher has a fever today, but in his stead, we're honored to welcome a witcher, who will now tell us about his trade. Ah, uh, rat. Yeah, this is grand! <laughs> you shan't disappoint me, will you? <laughs> so, who would like to ask the first question? Oh dear. What? <laughs> Means that due to our mutations, we have an overdeveloped libido. Libido? When a girl asks a witcher, the witcher says, What will you give me for killing a monster? And she says, Anything you want. So the witcher says, Heh heh heh. Then you'll give me something you weren't expecting at all. And that's where little witches come from. Children, what's the meaning of this? Well, who is teaching these kids this? Is it true witches kill kings? Uh, we can. When they deserve it. A man cursed who's turned into a monster. A witcher might have to kill, even if he's a king. So King Fortest was a monster. What's it like to cut off someone's head? Can you show us how to cut off a head? Okay. Enough. That is all for today. Gather your things and I shall see you in the morning. Wow. It's great you came. Would have rather had the rat catcher. Sheesh. What these what they teach these kids, I'm telling you. Looking for dandelion. The illustrated guide to fun. Huh. Maybe you know 
Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. Wait, when his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium... <laughs> Okay. See Dandelion after the No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline. He never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Aww. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually Really? Did he mention my people? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelion's? Mere exercise is true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Ah, uh, no, no. Gee, her snaky whip rose skyward. Gee haw, crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt the thighs. Lava bathed its chin, chin, chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. I just work here. I'm out of here. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Marabella. I'm gonna take all your books and all your goodies though. Why do you have alcohol? Come on, you have kids here. You have alcohol all over the place. I like how there's kids like one block that way and there's a dead body just chilling and there's an apple and I'm just gonna take it all right let's speak to Molly I think she's just right around here uh, what's going on now shouldn't interest you the Baroness don't mingle with just anyone don't worry I'm here to see your chambermaid Molly out of the way. Baroness is riding out. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep. Surely this is no chance encounter. Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette. An Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. Of course, we met before. We've met before. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. The Emperor desired a chat with the Witcher. I, too, was fortunate enough to meet in memory. Hmm. So Geralt of Rivia now works for Emperor Emir. Interesting. Has Var Emery sent you to rid Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid servant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vogelbach. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? <sighs> Fine. Well, if Molly will be there. On our way then. Don't really want to hang out with this dude, but. <laughs> Like, I hate people like that. Like, he's obviously, like, you know, just fake and just, ugh. It's like, on my way then. On my way. Okay. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Mm, nobody cares. <laughs> just kidding. No, I don't. I like cars. Every horse I've had, Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Gaul. Grey's a nice color for horses too. My coins and the Black Stallion, Nemroth, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. <laughs> No is not the word. Morvan's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. 
Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saps of the Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Let's race. Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? Um, oh crap, we got a bet. Um... I don't know. I'll ride the Zurich. The, I'll ride this one. Tales of Zurichian horses. I'll ride the bay. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me then. I see no point in delaying. Let's begin. <laughs> Probably gonna lose, but we'll see. If we're betting on the race, oh, we're actually racing. Get out of my way. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I just cut him off. Easy clap. Man, this race is easy so far. Easy as pie. Not even worried. Oh, we're getting tired, though. Not good. Okay, we gotta cut him off somehow. Oh. Whoa, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> Yo, you're talking too much. Yep. You want my phone number? I'm just kidding. Thanks. Is yours. Thank you. Of course it is. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, milady? Ah, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. Of course. Lovely young woman. That's her. Speak to her, and you must find us when you're ready to return to Novograd. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Okay. I mean, he seems. Uh, they seem all right, I guess. Get out of my way. Molly, 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 Molly. Wish to see me. Call me Geralt. Yes. Geralt. That Geralt, the one Dandelions rescued time and time again. I guess. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be here if. Told me all about your adventures. How he'd ready you for battle with his sons. How he tamed the Cairn by playing his lute. I meant that literally. Dandelions, why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. No worry. No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. Okay. We've seen each other in eight. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelions are good for nothing layabout. Can you imagine? True. <laughs> uh, or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. I do realize Dandelion doesn't have- Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Okay. Different mo Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. Know where I can find her, Dandelion. I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he grow all quiet. <laughs> wow, this is so complicated. some coin for a barge to take me on a romantic cruise for the canals by the said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles and he'd sing me arias but I've not seen him since dang you got played wait before you go I've got a request what dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings he never did. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those edges. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank. Dang. <sighs> Dang.
Dandelion's playing with too many hearts. All right, let's talk to this dude again. Sure. Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. I'd say the same. Well done. Let's hang out with this dude, I guess. I kind of don't want to be chilling with these guys too closely, but whatever. Spending way too much time. You guys are beautiful. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. <laughs> okay. Guys, it is the next day, by the way. <laughs> so. If you see me a change of clothes, it's because I did change my clothes. I change my clothes every day, thank you. So, uh, where we left off, we gotta find the last lady. So. Um. I'm just lying. I don't know who this Miss Rosa is. Don't you realize what you've got yourself into? I hope so too. Miss Rosa's got a downright beast in tempo. Shows no mercy. Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss. The ambassador follow me. Okay, come on. I can teach her a thing or two with a sword. <laughs> You're my new instructor. Wow, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your work. Okay. You know, I have two swords. You know, I can slice and dice easily. Easy clappers. Let's go. Let's get to work. Miss. Nice, nice one, Rosa. What? Whoa, why can I counter? What? I'm fine with that. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, Rosa. You're gonna have to give it better than that. Oh, get countered. Whoa. Yeah, take a seat. Not a Certainly be one. Fancy 
Uh, sure, why not? You're cool. What? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind, Edna Va Atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Euro Yo, are they sisters? Wait a minute. You mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Whoa. I sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he felt it. Dang. To repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. <laughs> Easy, ladies. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly... Come on, we don't have time for all this. Um Good dandelion sing about it. I believe she's a poetess or cabalist. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman, not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Okay. Weird. Okay. Okay, let's go back to Zoltan. We're back finally. We talked to all the women, so. They're basically happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with a rune. How could you resist? Could they? Well, possible. So, how'd you do? Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone out. Thing is, mystery woman wasn't on my list. What she supposedly like. Okay. Well, who's Priscilla? That's weird. Like, imagine, like, you, but the opposite sex. And you're attracted to yourself, looking like, you know, it's kind of weird. Okay, so she performs live? Not quite sure why he got an owl, though, but... You know, dwarfs gotta do what dwarfs gotta do. Okay, let's uh, meet Zoltan. Zoltan, uh, if I don't know if I'm obliterating the name, but I'm at Kingfisher Inn at, after sundown. So let's do that. Uh, Come on, let's find some arse lists. 
<laughs> I like how he put that. Sure, let's watch it. Oh, there he is. That's one heck of a hat there. Whatever that is. If you know what that is, just correct me. I don't... You know. Yeah, I'm guessing this is Priscilla, by the way. Sultan. He's being mesmerized. Okay. To drink of raven locks and twisted stormy of violet Dang, everybody's catching these feels. King of beggars. That was pretty good. I'm guessing that is Priscilla, though, obviously. I know him. Oh, no, it's the inn from, uh, Oh dear. Moron. Some die. Oh please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. Oh come on, go make out with your girl somewhere else. Save you say. He murdered folk. Whatever, I was helping you. My gosh, wherever I go, there's always some arguments. To music. Music. Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. Why is she here? Permit me to introduce uh, Alessio's Priscilla. 
known also as Calaneta. As lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Sandalans told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. <laughs> Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. Wow. Why? Is there a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Rubin's vault? Shoot them. And I've not seen him since. He's captured. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a... Well, he's not driven off in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. It seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. Biggest prick in Novigrad, if not literally the worst. Got it. You're not a fan, but what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carla the Cleaver of Arrest. Siggy Reuven, Carla the Cleaver, and Beck King of Beggars. If you didn't cross the church's well, bring that venerable institution into it. So the city is ruled by like four or five? What about Rodov um Redovid? I guess he allows all this to happen? Dang, just imagine like I mean there are gangs in real life, like you know, you have city and mayors and all that, but then you have also the underground, which they just mentioned, which they're basically gang members, so Dang. They do to bards break their fingers or tear out their tongues. Relax, I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this horse and first and Siggy Rugen. You know where I might find them? Well, I don't know. Siggy Rugen and the naughty word, the W's. I'm gonna start calling them the W's. I'm not gonna say that. I don't doubt it, but Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Okay, seems kind of messed up. Siggy Reuven. So, I gotta talk to all these underground gang members, basically. Siggy Reuven. Oh, we hit level 11, by the way. So, let's talk to Siggy Reuven real quick. Anybody there? Open up. to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters as he's terribly busy. Busy? With what? Entertaining reporters, yes? In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. Geralt of Rivia. Dang, he has a name out there. Siggy Reuben cordially invites you to join him. I'm Happen. Hi, Happen. You're really short. <laughs> Wait. I guess not. Never mind. Pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. Oh, so I have to. Get, I have to get naked. Whoa, I'm scratched up. Hey, Whitehead. Nice bun you have. <laughs> he would like. He doesn't blush. Guys. <sighs> Guys. I have to mute. I have to blur everything out.
Poor son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuben, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of swiping loot. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's she on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassin! Knew it. Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. We got a few. <laughs> Good work, gents. Terrible story for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were awesome scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. That's the bottom of Especially not in front of our guest. Who France did right before they attacked. Coincidence. Doubt it. Let's give him a chance to explain. I'm looking for Horsa Junior. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior's gonna help me find someone. I don't think it's gonna go well. If you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him, <laughs> he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session. Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise while I send my boys to poor son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find all, son? Find me first. Sheesh, what an idiot. Search, Witcher. I'll call on you tomorrow, Francis. We'll finish our chat. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. Okay, so this is rude in something. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking free month. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at Duck. I had my reasons. You're looking to be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite different. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Wow. Listen, no, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code passwords and other bullshit I'm here on specific business if you want to listen listen if not I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now uh, what's the harm <laughs> get straight to the business
Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around, but be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. <laughs> Gambling, that's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet, lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city. Mm. Betting schemes operate near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horsey's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Okay. Orson's got a house. Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Okay. Where's the music? Near the Temple Watch Tap. Orson's got now to do with the casino officially. So careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicion. How do I find the arena? The arena sounds promising. Sewers beneath Gildor. But you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Okay. So I gotta look for this W. The casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Okay. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> see, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring. Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. Especially. Hmm, okay, so he's not in contact with Radovid. What happened to Dandelion? Dandelion. Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's twins. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the Pontar, trussed up with the strings of his old man. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a the god. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have a problem. Of course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published okay. a strike recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply a I was being sick. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. <laughs> you might be able to help me. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion. Establish what happened here. What does he need now? worth a thousand words and all that tripe. Ah, figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask. Okay. So what's he gonna show? Got a secret room, I see. Be so kind as to follow me. Wow. Okay, so let's go down. Let's go, Dijkstra. I mean, you can run with your leg just fine. Oh, bah. Stop that. 
Now Bad Bad make Jiggy lose Johnson Beating your head against the wall won't change that Bad Hard Bad Less Thinky Bad Less Thinky Bad Sadler Where'd you get the truth from Zerikania? One in Cal Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. Bad eyed, bumpy horses. Hot vest. Ziggy bad taste. Good ziggy. Okay. You seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. <sighs> Bolt behind it until recently filled with Novograd crowns and countless other valuables. But God, then boom! Short foot go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Fine. Okay, well, we gotta help uh, Dijkstra, I guess his name is. So we'll just do that, but we'll do that on the next part. As always, like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Later.